it's Jen here from Nash Banks Creative and I've got a quick video tutorial of how you can create a killer brand graphic using Canva for free. And the parts one and two, I described a little bit about what Canva is, what you can do with it. And now in part three, I'm going to go over how I created all of the Facebook post graphics that went along with the series so that you can use the same techniques to make your own awesome brand graphics. All right, let's get to it. So now you can see that I logged into my account in Canva, the free version, and I want to just show you a couple things that I mentioned in the part one and part two series. And that one is um, setting up your brand colors. So over here you click on your brand and then you can see the free version allows you to um, save three colors using the hex codes which will really save you when uh, save you a lot of time when you're making your graphics because they'll be preloaded in the color palette section and you can easily click on them. This also shows you um, other options that you have when you if you were to decide to upgrade to Canva for work. Okay so this is the graphic that I created for um, the series parts one two and three and I'm gonna just show you my method of how I created this graphic and then I'll show you how I got around the uh, the fact that you can't use templates in the free version but you can definitely if you're gonna do something that's a series or if you want to keep reusing um, th this um, layout as uh, a template I'll show you how to do that here at the end of the video. Also, I wanted to show you real quick, here's where I created my um, brand style guide. And if you want to have that up also, that can help you if you can't remember what your text um, headings, subheadings, and things like that, if you can't remember the name of them, you can just go ahead and open this up from down here in your designs. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how I created the graphic um, for the Facebook post. You have all different types of design options as well as the ability to use custom dimensions for any of your Canva designs. One of the great things um, that I think about Canva that might get overlooked a little bit is that in fact it can be used not just for digital things. I mean you know CD cover, you can use it to um, create a letter or letterhead and then have it printed out even a resume so there are a lot of really cool options um, Canva has really been expanding the options and um, I think it's great for anyone who needs um, needs to do some design work and is a little bit savvy but doesn't want to get into Illustrator like I said I use Illustrator for the most part I love Illustrator um, Adobe Illustrator, however, there is time. there are times when I want to make something super fast or I want to do it on my phone really quickly. Um, and since Canva has an app, that uh, I think is a really uh, one of the really good benefits of Canva. Okay, so we're gonna create a Facebook post, so I clicked on that. Okay, so here we go. When you first click on the design that you want to create, we clicked on Facebook post. It's going to preload what Canva calls its layouts. And um, down here, the grayed out areas are other things that unlock if you upgrade to Canva for work. So you will just want to look through um, and see if any of these different types of layouts appeal to you as far as what you're doing. Some are specific for um, different holidays, but don't get uh, your head wrapped too far around it. I mean, this says happy birthday, but you could totally, you know, use it for anything else. I mean, you just change, um, change the wording around. Um, same with the save the date. You're like, uh, you can totally change the blue. You can change, you know, pretty much you can change anything. So we're just going to use it as a jumping off point um, for our design. Now, I chose this one as my uh, initial design or my initial layout I should say so let's flip back real quick final product and this is what I started with so obviously it's definitely very different um, what I did first was I went through and um, I decided that um, 
I wanted this to be my blue color. So like I said, your brand colors are gonna populate here, which is great, so get that set up before you get to designing. And I click on my blue. Now I think this is a really neat feature also of Canva. Um, let's say that there were more elements in my layout that had this shade that I wanted to be my blue color. I have the option right here with one single click to change all of those elements all at once. So this is like a super cool feature that will save you a lot of time, um, which is great. And so I also changed um, the font and color of this one to use mine. And you can go back to your uh, style guide if you need to remember what the names that you picked out are and if you have Canva for work um, then you can upload fonts so if your brand fonts are not in Canva um, they have a lot of good ones um, you can upload whatever you want so that I changed it but I also I made that the pink color and again I don't want to check this because um, I don't want all the blue to go to pink because, well, then it would change this to pink, so that would not be good. Ah! Okay, I accidentally added a page. That was not, that was unintended. So, back to over here. This little dot. Change that. Alright. I don't want that dot in there, I'm not sure. Okay. It also made all these separate little boxes, which is fine if you have something that's um, short and then you can easily adjust how close all of these lines are together. But um, I don't want that. I just I just made one block um, and um, type my head in there. Obviously it does not fit that size, so we'll adjust. You're not, you're not confined to anything here. We're just using, um, we're using this just as kind of as a guide and as a bit of inspiration, uh, if you will, so. Another neat thing is um, if I didn't, if I wanted this to be all caps, um, there is just a single one click button for that, which I think is really another time saving. You also have these guides which help you line things up. And these are all things that, you know, graphic designers, um, that, that we, that we know to look for when we're designing. We, you know, are thinking like, okay, let me make sure everything's lined up, make sure spacing between things is good. Um, they had that in three separate blocks because they wanted the spacing to be better, but you can also change the spacing, your line height spacing like this um, if you want. Obviously you don't want to get too crazy because that just does not look good. But if you want to tighten things up a little bit, if it's too big or if it's too close and you need it to have some breathing room, then, you know, you have you have a lot of editing options in here. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna work on is the photo. And over here to the left under uploads, you can see, you'll be able to see that I have uploaded a lot of stock imagery that I feel fits my brand photography style. Uh, they're from different sites that I subscribe to, um, Jasmine Star Social Curator, also Death to Stock Photography, Styled Stock, Society. These are some new ones from a new, um, a new one called the Stock It, the Stock It Girls, the Stock Girls. Um, I'll have to come back to that. I can't remember, but they ju they're just they just actually launched today. Um, so two things to note about images: if Canva already has a placeholder image in there, um, you can replace with your image simply by clicking on this image and dragging it over and dropping it in. Uh, now, it turned it black and white. That is because this layout has a filter over top of it. And 
I don't want to filter, so I want to go back to normal. Um, so that's something to always check for is does the layout that you chose have a filter. Now, some of these filters may fit your brand photography style, uh, which is, you know, go for it. You know, the main thing is, is that it fits your brand photography style. Um, so now I have this image in here and um, the other thing, if you're adding images, if you just click one click and let go, it's just gonna plunk the image down on the very top, which is not, um, not really necessarily how you'd want to, if you wanna just do a replacement. Um, you can flip it, um, but what I'm gonna do is double click it so that I can adjust uh, what part of the image is fitting in and then that way now my whole bowl of berries is within view here um, so the last thing I need to do is add in my logo which is way down here because um, the free version of Canva you cannot create folders you only have a one folder that is uploads or I guess Facebook and then if you buy any images from Canva, they're like a dollar an image, um, they'll show up here. If you upgrade to Canva for work, you'll have, you can create as many folders as you want. You can have one for just logo, you can have one for backgrounds, you can have one for basically whatever you want. You can create it yourself. So hopefully it's loaded up down here, uh, my logo, which it's not loading up. But what I would do is I would just click on it click it with one click so that it would um, it would show up over here on top and just my internet's being really slow so it's not gonna not gonna do it okay so as you can see on this one I have the the blue box over to the right and that's because my image that I use for this graphic was more weighted on the left and I couldn't flip it because <laughs> there's text here and it would flip the text. So, uh, you know, you're free to, you know, like I said, this is just a guide. You can move things around um, to wherever you want to make it your own. So there you have it. That is how I created the graphic. Now, how do you, let's say um, you're doing a three-part series and you don't want to have to keep going in and change this to blue and then change this and then change this font. How do you um, use this as a template? So what we're gonna do is we'll make sure this is saved and then we'll go back to all your designs. Okay, so here we are back in all of uh, your designs and this is the graphic that we just made. Now a lot of times Canva does this where it, it does not show the preview yet, um, but that's no big deal. You know it was it was uh, zero one, and then even from here you can edit if you wanted to change the name of it. So what you want to do is you're going to go for this arrow, and you're just going to make a copy. Okay, so we can't really use it like as a template, and and save different things, but but you can just make a copy, and then click on your copy. That says copy of zero one. And we're going to change the title of that. We'll make it zero two, just to kind of. And then there you go. All you have to do now is go back in. And then just pick new stuff. All right. Make sure that saves. And there you go. When you come back here, it's not going to be changed until you refresh the page. But you just refresh it, and then you'll get, you'll see 01, 02, and then you can just keep going with making however many you want. Down here, I made all of these quote graphics by doing that same thing. I literally just hit make a copy, make a copy, make a copy, so that I didn't have to redo all my blocks. I just swapped out images and swapped out the text. And um, same with these. I made part one made a copy, made part two, made a copy, and then made part three. Um, so that's an easy way, um, instead of having a template, you can just make copies. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video, 
and that you are now able to go in and feel comfortable making your own killer brand graphics for free using Canva. And please, please, please um, share your images with me. Tag me on Instagram or on Facebook and post them in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys make. And if you have any other questions, um, specific questions, then please drop those in the comments as well. I would love to um, help you out and see what awesomeness you all are creating. So thanks for watching. Thank you.